The monthly Frontier Unlocked livestream just got finished and once again ably proved the value and wisdom of the now firmly established format of a monthly information dense show. This months livestream featured a ton more information on the incoming Powerplay 2.0 and a deeper look at the next new ship to enter the game the Mandalay. We'll cover off the Powerplay 2.0 update on Fridays Witchspace news later this week so watch out for that but in this video we're going over everything we just learned about the new Zorgon Peterson ship. We already know from Frontiers previous info drops about the Mandalay that it is a medium class native SCO enabled exploration focused ship. But first out of the gate Frontier have given more information this month about just why they're introducing the Mandalay. Current wisdom in the game dictates that if you want maximum jump range from an explorer vessel then the Anaconda is the way to go but any Conda driver will tell you that the ship can be somewhat of a beast to fly in anything except a straight line and being roughly the size comparable to something like I dunno Iceland it can be a challenge to couple that undoubtedly useful jump range with the requirements of surface exploration and exobio given the huge footprint the ship has. Also the Anaconda doesn't have a view from the cockpit of the planetary surface it's exploring because of its huge nose assuming of course you don't plan to just fly upside down. The Mandalay addresses all these physical size and design issues directly and brings its own bonuses to the exploration table. Frontier have been quite clear that when built to maximise its jump range potential the Mandalay will outjump the previously best in class Anaconda whilst also being more nimble to fly. Frontier are saying possibly more so than a diamondback explorer as well as featuring that important smaller than a Conda footprint. Whilst it wasn't readily apparent from the initial view of the ship we had last month the new footage of the currently work in progress Mandalay that you can see running here shows quite clearly that the Mandalay comes fitted with a forward facing view down through the pilots feet meaning you will be able to see the ground below you when surveying a planet or looking for geology or bio signs. As far as optional internal slots go here is how the Mandalay breaks down. 3 size 1s, 1 size 2, 2 size 3s, 2 size 4s, 1 size 5 and 1 size 6. That last slot gives it the potential to scoop fuel on a par with the ASP Explorer and there's also ample room for multiple SRV bays and a top tier Guardian FSD booster. The ship cannot however accommodate a ship launched fighter. This is something that is often used by some explorers for surveying planetary surfaces particularly with something like an anaconda in tow. However hopefully the Mandalay's decreased overall size and increased manoeuvrability will mean that an SLF bay will be largely redundant for exploration. For the core internals everything is a size 5 except for the size 4 life support. Frontier have said that its core internals are similar in that regard to the ASP Explorer except for the larger power distributor. Despite being an explorer the Mandy is not defenseless packing as it does 4 medium and 2 small hardpoints. Hardpoint placement sees 2 on the aft section in the centre, 2 on either side of the cockpit and 2 under the wings close to the hull. The ship is also very fast and very manoeuvrable especially for a medium ship in the yaw apparently and Frontier have said that it should have enough speed to outpace and outmanoeuvre an attacker to jump away if the owner would prefer not to fight. When it comes to the native SCO support the Mandalay will be the slowest of the next gen ships in SCO but it will also have the best fuel economy and will be the smoothest ride in that mode of the 3 new ships so far. Frontier didn't supply us with specifics but I'd imagine even the slowest SCO is still 
blisteringly quick when compared to vanilla supercruise. You may remember that we'd raised some concerns about the wing length and just how the vessel would fit on a medium pad. The Mandalay is a tight squeeze for sure but no variable geometry or complicated folding wing design has been necessary it seems and I can also report that the Mandalay is, as many had suspected, a two seater vessel. Frontier had previously stated that the Mandalay would be arriving alongside Powerplay 2.0. As of today we do know that the Powerplay 2.0 patch entitled Elite Dangerous Ascendancy will be arriving on the 22nd of October just under a month away as at the time of recording. As with all other ships in Elite Dangerous the Mandalay will feature some optional ship kit pieces from the ARK store. You can see some screenshots of those pieces on screen now. It really does seem with the Mandalay as indeed has been the case with all the new generation ships so far Frontier are, not to put too fine a point on it, not mucking about. The Mandalay is set to be the go to medium class explorer vessel. A smaller footprint and greater range than the mighty Anaconda, great cockpit visibility, fuel scooping on par with the Asp Explorer, the manoeuvrability of the Diamondback Explorer, room for multiple SRV bays and capable of seating two commanders and a stable and fuel efficient supercruise overcharge option. All these features coupled with the gorgeous new design aesthetic coming from the game these days appear to be signalling very clearly that the now 40 year old Elite franchise is moving very boldly into a new era. Will you be grabbing the Mandalay in early access? Can you see it replacing your existing explorer ship or will you perhaps be trying it out in combat? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe so that YouTube shows you all our content and if you'd like to support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also join our Patreon. Links to that and everything we've talked about in this video you'll find linked below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.